Let's get started. <laughs> Hey Deadline, what are you doing? Shipping. You ship characters now? Yup. So who do you ship? Forcible quirk activation and air cannon. Deadline, I don't think they count as real characters to be shipped. You can't stop me, clever comrade. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let me begin my rant. Okay, here we go. Chapter 385 It's 60% Gunga Mountain shenanigans, and 40% padding. Yeah this chapter is another two-parter just like the last one. Now do take note that this video will not be a full recap. We're just gonna be ranting about things that don't make sense. But before we start let me say a little something. So in the previous chapter, we have these reporters. Reporter number 1, and reporter number 2. Reporter number 2 has these strange black fingers with little patterns on them. Deliberately emphasized with this particular zoom in shot. I couldn't help but wonder. Is this forcible quirk activation? Hell the creator even put a panel of her over here with a raised hand. Showing that she can, in fact, activate it at will, like the typical forcible quirk activation. Is this particular reporter one of the descendants of the original wielder of forcible quirk activation? Maybe. Maybe. What's next? Reporter number one over here has air cannon. And what's next after this? These two will tag team against Mr. Demon Lord? Well if only the both of them are actual established named characters, then this would have been epic as f Okay that's enough talk about silly reporters. Let's get on with the rant. So about chapter 385. As with the previous chapter that was also released after a break. This one is also a bit noticeably longer than the average final battle chapter. And also like the previous chapter again. 385 also has two distinct parts. The Gunga Mountain part, and the UA Fortress part. As usual let's go start with the Gunga Mountain part first. So over here the main big event is Deadline attacking some heroes. This time he actually did something and defeated them all. Naturally, a vast majority of Deadline fans are amazed by this. And I'm not gonna lie I kinda liked it too. Especially the super duper black screen attack. As you can see it's a f***ing amazing black screen attack. 10 out of 10. A literal modern masterpiece of fight choreography with an astonishing level of detail no other manga can replicate. If perfection is a manga panel, then this is it. Brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. But seriously, black screen jokes aside, this chapter showed us that Deadline apparently has the power to defeat everyone in Gunga Mountain right at the very beginning of the battle, yet he still let himself get stalled back to his kid form. Why in the ever-living f*** did he only do these attacks now? Why did he even bother with a f***ing distraction if he's already powerful enough on his own? Hell the guy's on a literal f***ing rewind timer, with a mission to get back to Handaman ASAP. Then why the f*** did he even have to spend 2000 f***ing years blabbering non-stop about his f***ing nano machines in the first place instead of just defeating everyone, and getting the f*** out of there right after rewinding himself. I swear Mr. Demon Lord wasted far more time just talking to himself than the entirety of the hero efforts combined. What a dumbass. Even here look at how he just casually leaves without at least snapping the chicken man's neck. Hell the fact that most of the battle outcome is just kept vague, pretty much meant that no one died, considering how much MHA hates killing off hero characters. And if there's ever going to be a death, it's just probably going to be big boy, since he's the only villain there and the only one without plot armor. Look how he even has an entire panel to himself with a lot of blood spewing out. Yeah this guy is super dead. Somebody died. Dead. Dead! So yeah. Deadline's an idiot. While chapter 385 tried to explain his stupid and questionable behavior by saying something about urges and feelings, but in the end it just made him look even more stupid. If Deadline is supposed to be some super genius evil mastermind, then why the f*** does he even need to feel some f***ing feelings just for him to f***ing do something? Apparently he's trying to impersonate the creator's wife for now. But anyways. Deadline being an idiot aside. Perhaps the best part of this Gunga Mountain segment is this stolen fancy wings quirk. 
As you can see it's a speed boosting quirk. This means Mr. Demon Lord now has the power to really escape the area, in which he quickly did. Finally. No more repetitive Gunga Mountain chapters. That is until Superman with his briefcase suddenly shows up and then it's once again two decades of repetitive Gunga Mountain chapters again. No 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 no! Wait 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 wait! Wait 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 wait! <laughs> okay. Now that the first part of the rant is done, let's move on to the second part. The UA Underground Fortress scenes. This part is pretty much just pure padding. Quite like the whole reporter portion last chapter. Nothing much happened here. The scenes are not even that related to the main ongoing plot. There are only side characters here getting random highlights. Because the manga is close to ending and every single side character just somehow got to have their own little highlight. Because reasons. But anyways. The only interesting bit here. For me at least. Is this guy getting caught. Always remember no one knew there were even spies within the UA fortress walls in the first place. But the moment this guy turned ugly, he's immediately caught like the heroes always knew they're there all along. I gotta say this whole anti-spy system is really f***ing amazing. No wonder all the ugly mutants are outside, because they're automatically the villains inside. Overall. Chapter 385 is drastically different than a typical Gunga Mountain chapter. In which Deadline actually launched an attack that actually did something. Although he still got sorta joked on by this little guy, and he still didn't kill anyone. And is now a bigger idiot than before. But hey at least he did something. Also this chapter contains everyone's favorite Ninja Turtle cosplayer. But since he hasn't done anything yet so I just let him be. As for the next chapter, I'm getting a feeling that it's going to be centered on Libra. I mean there's this whole map with the Deadpool swarm on it. And then there's the chicken man losing his wings. And Deadline saying something about urges, which is directly in line with Libra's bullshit excuse with her quirk. Hey Deadline. What's your basis on shipping air cannon with forcible quirk activation? Not in. I just think they're perfect for each other. Do you even remember what they look like in person? No, but I ship them, and you should too. I'd rather not. In fact I'd rather just end this video right now. You people should support this ship.